afternoon, everybody. You should be able to hear me nice and clearly. Uh, you'll all be on mute today, so there won't be an opportunity to take uh, direct questions during the call. Uh, but if you do wish to speak to us after the call today, um, then please drop me an email. So just to start today's uh, presentation, um, my name is Sandra Moore. I'm the Sales and Marketing Director here at Pan Intelligence. I can see many of you as you're dialing in. Um, I've met and certainly spoken to you before. Uh, for those of you who don't know uh, me, I have a team of people at Pan Intelligence that support our partners uh, in delivering sales training, uh, marketing materials and collateral resources such as what I'm going to show you today, um, direct sales training and also demonstrations to end users. And today's presentation is very much uh, aimed at enabling you as the salespeople that are out or marketing uh, people that are out there trying to develop the uh, opportunity, the leads, uh, the interest in Pan Intelligence um, is enabling you with tools such as TriPi to generate that interest and uh, bring you some opportunity to arrange meetings uh, and perhaps move that through to close. So it's part of a toolkit of things that we provide to our partners uh, to enable our sale. So what I'm going to do today is show you uh, what TriPi is. Uh, before I get into that, I'm just going to um, go through a few points on the slides. So just bear with me a second. So why we built TriPi. Um, so Pi is the short name for the latest version of our pro product, and it's, it's nothing particularly uh, um, creative. Pan Intelligence is often shortened to Pi, uh, and as it was, our product often got called Pi before we renamed it Pi. So Pi was released last month. It is our fully mobile product. So it's mobile dashboards that can be accessed on any device, uh, anywhere at any time. Uh, TriPi is a way for you to be able to give that experience to your customers uh, by logging on to an environment where they can experience the dashboard for themselves on a device and interact with it very easily and simply so they get an experience of how a dashboard solution in their hand might work for them. It's a unique experience for your customers. Often in sales meetings, we're presenting a piece of technology to them from our own laptop or perhaps we're logging into a remote um, session, but certainly we are show and telling to the customer. Uh, what TriPi will enable you to do is to be able to put it in their hands, let them experience it for themselves, and feel the interactive and um, very modern look and feel of our product and solution, which should give them the confidence to believe this is something they can quickly and easily deploy and use in their organization. The beauty of TriPi is it doesn't require you to have any software locally. You don't need to install anything on any device. Any of your customers can access the TriPi environment for their phone, their uh, tablet. They don't need to download an app. They're just going to navigate to a URL, and I'll show you exactly how easy that is to do. So a, it's a hosted demonstration environment that you can basically give to your customers to experience the product. What we also do with TriPi is we log and collect every single interaction with TriPi, unsurprisingly, in our own dashboard. And this you'll find if you come into our offices on a big screen all over the office, and is one of the most used dashboards as a company because we're always looking to see who's coming onto TriPi and experiencing the products themselves. We can use this as a lead capture process for you as well. So if you're looking to use TriPi as a way to generate some interest in Pan Intelligence, perhaps through an email marketing campaign, or whether you're face-to-face -face with your customer in a meeting, uh, we will be able to capture that. And of, as we do not speak to people directly and we do not target them directly, we will log that lead against you as a partner and, and capture that and give you feedback when your customers or prospects are actually on the tool so that you're aware that they're looking at it. And if there's anybody new in the organizations that you're talking to looking at it, we can make you aware of that. So it's a great way for us to capture what's going on with those opportunities for you and feed that back to you as part of the process. Um, so what I'm going to do is just jump into the tool itself, and we'll come back to sort of next steps. Um, so on your screen, you'll be able to see uh, the, the environment. Um, it's a, a very uh, simple and easy to navigate solution. Um, 
How we get into this is we access it via a URL. So what I'm going to do is just log into um, a, a browser session. Uh, so if I just minimize this screen, um, we've got a URL which is www.try hyphen pi dot live and that's the URL you'll give to your customers um, and if you can navigate to that you'll get to a landing page and your customers will be able to put in or prospects their email address and that's how we capture who's landing on the site and that will then open up the dashboard for them to interact with and play with so we can accommodate multiple sessions for people to interact with the dashboard as many of your customers partners can be on this at any one time so just to show you around the navigation, um, we have on the left-hand side a, uh, a burger, as our development team call it, which pops out to give us a toolbar with all of the different dashboards that are available to view. This dashboard, TriPy, is built over a generic data set and it provides dashboards over what would be seen as commercial or business information. Um, it's not specific to a particular sector, but it's very much uh, business information around things such as sales, debtors, stock, um, and information and metrics that you might expect that most businesses would be interested in looking at. Uh, but appreciate it won't land necessarily with all sectors, but it should resonate with, with most organizations that are monitoring things like accounting information, sales information, um, operational information. So there are lots of different dashboards in here that you can explore. And by popping out this bar on the left, you can explore each of those dashboards uh, and they can navigate around. This is enabled for touch, so when you open this up on a mobile device or a tablet, uh, all of these are optimized so that it's very simple for users to interact, touch them, and then move on to the next area to explore. If you're not sure if something exists, we can start typing in this bar here, and it will start to uh, narrow down the options based on what we're searching. So if I uh, search for sales, that will give me a, a limited number of options from the dashboard. Click on sales analysis, and then that will give me the pre-configured set of charts available to me to explore. So i just stay on this tab for a second. Um, what we have on the right-hand side here, you'll notice, is um, three dots. Uh, they give us a number of options. One of them is to send this dashboard via email. When we do that, it basically copies and pastes the URL for this distinct page that you're on, and you can send it out to somebody, and when they log in, they will see exactly what you can see depending on the permissions they have. So it's the ability to email your view of the data to somebody else for them to explore it. Um, therefore, it's non-static. It enables you to send people to a place where they can explore as opposed to just sending them an image. Um, we can also play a carousel, so that would basically cycle through all of the charts within the uh, dashboard environment itself. That's great if you want to put it on a big screen. So if one of your prospects wants to see how this might look on a big screen in their office, um, ask them to put the URL on that big screen, press play carousel, and it will simply cycle through all of the tabs so they can see what it would be like if they were trying to give visibility to a broader group of people in the organization. Um, we also have on each of um, the pages that do have filters this filter option. So if I click on that for a second again, it slides out a set of options. These are whatever filters are available on that page. And as with um, the standards of dashboard that uh, you should have been, should have experienced, whether it's the older version or, or this version, when we select one of the options from the filters, we select apply, and it will then apply all of those filters. Across, the, across all the charts on the page and, and you'll get a new view of that data. Um, by hovering over some of these, we get the uh, summary of the underlying data, so standard functionality. Um, if we click on the legend items, it will narrow that down to whatever data sets uh, we're selecting and minimizing on. Uh, we can also zoom in. Um, so if I was to zoom in on this chart, it will uh, narrow each of those options down and then we can reset the zoom back. Um, we can also drill down, so on this option here I can see a, an arrow that's pointing downwards and that's telling me I can drill down into underlying data. I can then continue to look at these sales that Jim Branning has made now in March 2012, what he's sold in March 2012, and looking at these range styles right the way down to the individual 
um, items within uh, those sales or drill back up and down and maybe go to another area of what he sold. And once I've found something that I think is particularly of interest, I can export that very simply to Excel. So by popping this out on a big screen, I also have these options here and I can export to Excel. And what that does is it will drop me out a data file uh, and if I open that up, you'll see the data um, in Excel up on your screen. So we can get the data out very simply. Um, we can drill, uh, drill up, drill down, uh, export and email out of the dashboard. All of this your customer can experience using TriPi without too much um, help from yourselves. You can literally put this in their hands and let them press these buttons and, and allow them to experience and explore it. But they should find that the whole experience is very intuitive, very simple, uh, and there's enough layers of data behind this data set that you're able to give them um, something they can relate to, hopefully back to their organization. Okay, um, other things to, to highlight to you. So if I was to just go to um, the executive overview, which is at the top level. Um, when using TriPi, it's, it's worth, explore, uh, worth explaining how some of these uh, other types of charts are, are, are being, that are being displayed are, are working behind the scenes. So we have uh, KPIs here on the screen, which will change color depending on target ranges. So it's a really popular for a number of organizations to display wallboards where it's just a series of red dots or green dots or, or dots with a, new, a number in. And as those change into certain target ranges, they will change into whatever rag status is appropriate. And certainly wallboarding is, is a very popular use of these kind of charting tools. So um, showing those on a big screen and enabling, those, uh, enabling that for a wider audience is something that um, we find is a, is a real value for the new Pi interface. It certainly looks fantastic when displayed on big screen. Um, so that's the navigation for TriPi. It's um, something that I'd like you to all go in and have a play with if you can um, after this. And we'll see you popping up on TriPi, I'm sure, after the demonstration if you have chance. Um, just to, to make clear, if any of your customers are wanting this to display out to their uh, customers or perhaps out to suppliers, so not just for internal use, this top bar at the top can change color. Um, we can have their logo appear on the dashboard uh, or your logo appear on the dashboard if it's being used as a, a data as a service kind of portal. Um, so the, the, the Pi interface can look and feel like uh, the organization with which is representing that data, whether it's internally or externally to stakeholders. We're finding there's an increasing uptake on organizations using this outside of their businesses. So not just for management information reporting, but actually as a portal to uh, communicate to a broader and wider stakeholder group, customers, suppliers, board of governors, auditors, and so on. Um, so the ability to restyle this and represent their brand as a public facing portal is, is also of real value to them and worth and worth sharing. Okay, so I encourage you to, to, to have a, a play with that and, um, and, and give that to your customers. But coming back to the, the slides earlier, um, what we would like to do from here is find a way to help you to use this TriPi environment to, to drive sales and, and really enable your sales teams to uh, give a fantastic experience to your prospects of what these tools can do for them. So, First thing I'd like to suggest is that we can work with you on email marketing campaigns where we make TriPi a call to action where your customers can log on and play with it, uh, where we would just need a list of those partners that have been shared with or customers and prospects that have been shared with so we can make sure that we register those leads against your business so that they are um, followed up uh, and passed back to you as and when they log on to the TriPi environment and we can give you access to that information. Um, so a mobile BI marketing campaign, and we do have some pre-canned marketing campaigns that we can share with you. Um, if you're currently looking at upgrading from the current version of Pan Intelligence to this latest version of Pi, we are helping partners to build their own demonstration environments that they can make available to their sales teams over their own data sets. And certainly what we've done using TriPi is we can replicate that for your organizations. We can host that for you so that you've got something unique to your business, unique to your brand, and unique to your data set or software that you can offer out to your 
prospects and salespeople in much the same way as I've shown you today. Going on from that, if you're having any customer days, if you're having any exhibitions or events and you'd like one of us to join with you on the stand or perhaps um, stand and present or talk to you about business intelligence and, and the value that it can bring to your customers and your organizations, uh, we're available to do so. Uh, the TriPi environment can be used by you at exhibitions and events and again all we ask is you let us know that you're going to be using it for something and we will track all of those leads as part of that process. So hopefully that's given you a, a good introduction today. Today was meant to be a, a nice short and simple overview of TriPi. Uh, proof of the pudding I think is always in, in having a go yourself so please go on to the URL so just to make that very clear um, it's www try hyphen pi dot live and that should bring you to this landing page uh, and um, happy exploring so if there's any questions you have from today do drop me an email it's zandra.more at panintelligence.com uh, happy to talk to you about how we can enable you with marketing initiatives and thank you very much for all of your time today and good luck